Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another tutorial and in today's video I'm going to show you something different. Today we're doing a beauty pageant makeup. I've got a special guest here for you. Her name is Yolandi. She's a gorgeous girl and she is a semi-finalist for Mrs. South Africa this year. So Yolandi is one of my favorites and if I was to vote, I would vote for her with both hands. <laughs> anyway, so I'll be doing Yolandi's makeup. It's going to be something glamorous and beautiful that she can wear at a gala dinner or a night out. So if you guys like Yolanda's makeup, please stay tuned for the tutorial and you're going to see how to recreate it in a minute. So first I'm going to prime her face and I'm using this beautiful face primer by Dior. And then I'm going to apply Dior Forever foundation. This is one of my favorite foundations and it's really, really natural and glowy. So I'm just going to apply that everywhere with a um, foundation brush. This one is by Real Techniques and make sure it's blended really, really well go over the eyelids I'm just gonna correct it later on because I'll be touching her face but yeah I just need the base nice and smooth then I'm doing her eyebrows first I'm gonna brush them and then draw out the shape and fill them in this pencil is by benefit it is one of my favorites as well it's got a very fine tip which is very precise and also it's drier in texture so it doesn't give you those shiny pasty brows Nobody wants those. <laughs> you want your brows as natural looking as you can possibly get them. So now I'm just drawing some strokes and brushing them up just to distribute that pencil everywhere. And here we're just creating those false brow hairs. <laughs> now I'm going to apply some eyebrow gel and this one is by Ico. It's got a very nice brush head so that's why I love it so much. And now I'm priming her lids and gonna put some eyeshadow base as well and this one acts as a concealer if you've got some veins or any discoloration on your lids which she doesn't but yeah we're using it anyways and now I'm taking this Morphe eyeshadow palette and this warm matte shadow from the palette I'm going to apply it into the crease and upper crease area and I'm using a fluffy crease brush now the blending trick is that you need to keep your hand really soft you don't want to press too hard into the lid because you want to distribute that color evenly and now I'm going into the outer part of a lid and crease with a darker brown shadow and a smaller pencil pencil kind of crease brush it's still fluffy but it's not it's not as stiff as the pencil brush but it's perfect for the outer corner make sure you blend it really well around the edges especially and then we're gonna do the lid color this one is a rose gold champagne shimmery shade I'm gonna put the shade name in the description box below so you guys can check it out and then I'm gonna go around the edges and just blend it really well with the same crease brush that I used earlier and then to highlight the tear duct area and the top of my brow bone I'm gonna use nylon by MAC then I'm gonna go in with a smaller crease brush and this one is more precise and I'm gonna take more of that deep brown shade and just put it right there on the outer part of the lid and then I'm gonna take some black eyeshadow and this one is by Urban Decay it's the blackout shadow and I'm gonna intensify the corners just I want them more and more dramatic next I'm going to draw a very thin line of this eyeliner by the balm just as a base for the false eyelash application and just make sure it's very very thin then I'm going to warm up the lower lash line with the same shadow I used into the crease and just to define it further, I'm going to take a flat definer brush and a mix of some matte brown and a black eyeshadow. Then I'm going to apply my false lashes. These ones are by Esquito and I'm just going to pop them in the center and secure the sides. You can see it's very, very easy as long as you wait for the glue to become tacky because then it's so much easier to apply them. And there you go. So I'm just going to correct a little bit with some of the eyeliner and then I'm going to line the waterline with some eyeliner pencil and this one is by YSL, it's super black and it lasts really long and then I'm going to apply some mascara, this one is by Benefit it's one of the new mascaras, it's called Bang and it really works in extending the length of your lashes and the volume as well to highlight underneath the eyes, I'm going to use this concealer by Tarte and she doesn't have anything major, I mean no discoloration or anything to cover so we don't need to correct. We're just going to use a concealer, good old faithful, 
and make sure that you blend it really well and this will be almost like a spotlight on our face. Now I'm going to set everything with this translucent powder by YSL and I'm just applying like a tiny amount. You don't really need to cake up the face with so much powder. Just use a very very little amount. Now I'm going to contour her face with this um, bronzer by NYX and I'm just going around her face and into the cheekbones. So now I'm going in with some blush and this one is by Dior. I really like this one. I always, always wear it. And to highlight, I'm using Huda Beauty's um, 3D Highlight Palette. I'm just going on the highest points of her cheekbones. On her lips, I'm using Muse Lip Liner by Huda Beauty. And this shade on its own is beautiful. It's a nice rose mauve shade. So you can wear this on its own or you can apply some lipstick over it. I'm going to fill her lips in just to make everything nice and even and smooth for the lipstick application and the lipstick is also used by Huda Beauty. And I love this shade on her, it just suits her beautifully. That was it for today's tutorial guys, I really hope you enjoyed this look and you liked this video. If you did, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. There's always a link at the end of the video so you guys can click there and subscribe. And if you guys want to help my friend Yolandi win Mrs. South Africa, please check out the description box below. There will be a link there where you guys can vote for her and help her win. And if you have any suggestions or any looks that you want to see in the next videos, please leave them in the comment section below. I love you guys. I will see you soon with another tutorial. Until then, stay blessed. Bye.